When something tragic takes place in front of Dr. Cotter's eyeballs, things go bad real quick for her. In contrast, things go real good for us, the viewers watching this unfold. Let's talk about It Follows. I mean, smile. If you've seen It Follows and like it as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to the channel Adam Does Movies. If you haven't seen it, make sure to subscribe anyways because I post tons of movie and TV related content here each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. All right, the movie I'm actually talking about is Smile. I made a joke. I do that as well here because Smile is the exact same film as It Follows. Isn't that crazy? This is a spoiler-free review, barely gonna cover the plot here. I'm just gonna say, Dr. Carter, top of her game, has a lot of patience with mental disabilities. One day she goes into work, sees a patient who's troubled to say the least, things go bad real fast, and next thing you know, she's seeing these creepy ass visions show up of people smiling. They got a smile on their face and we don't wanna know how they got these scars. But in order to get rid of this demonic thing that's playing tricks on her, she's gonna have to find out. And she's gonna have to do some digging real fast because it turns out she only has about four to seven days before that smile turns upside down into a frown. Much like It Follows, this movie is tense as hell. I was grabbed onto my seat, waiting in anticipation for something to happen. The brilliance of movies like this is it's all a mental game. Anyone at any time can just jump up with that creepy ass smile and a scare. And there are in fact quite a few jump scares in this, probably six or seven. So if that's not your cup of tea when it comes to horror movies, don't go to this one. I mean, these guys these guys are jumping out all the time and that's what makes it so unnerving because a lot of times we're not even operating inside the real world sometimes we're inside her head it just occurred to me when i made that comment about turning the smile upside down that that's what the director did with the cinematography here there are a few moments where the director has fun with the camera turns things all the way upside down full tilt and in the theater i wasn't really understanding i'm like why are we doing this this shot what, what's this for but now i get it now I see. The cinematography is beautiful in this movie. I thought for sure it was an A24 film because it has that feeling. But no, it's like Paramount or something. It, this is Paramount doing A24 and uh, I'm here for it. I like it. And I like it because it's just a little A24. Enough. It doesn't go full art house. You got a lovely soundtrack with some, with some fantastic sound design. There is no artsy bullshit. I'm a big fan of creative kills. I like some gore, not too much. Don't overdo it. This, this hits it just right for me. For instance, someone might start to cut their face off and while some movies might jump away from that, this one's gonna hold on that shot a little bit longer than necessary. I'm here for it. This also has the psychological angle going for it. It's not just a typical slasher. There's a little bit more to say. There's a message behind the movie and it works very well. Parker Finn also knows how to slow things down to keep you in suspense, frustrated almost. Like, he'll show you a dark doorway. You know absolutely something's gonna jump out of that thing and he will just sit on it. Or he'll show it and then go away from it. We'll have a five minute conversation and it'll just be in the corner of your mind, in the corner of your periph, short for peripheral, and bam, he'll hit you. Even when you expect it, it'll still hit you. A woman jumped clear out of her seat at one point, popcorn in the air. I thought she was gonna trip and stumble over the chair in front of her and just be done just like that. And then I would have witnessed that death and she would have came back with that smile and stalked me and we would have had to cross that bridge when we came to it. Performances are all terrific. I will say this, Catelyn Stacy, I believe is the actress. She's the first time we see the smile on someone. Um, 10, 10 would still smash, okay? Beautiful woman. Even with the creepy smile, I still sat there thinking, damn, even with that going on, I would still take her out for a nice meal at Wendy's. Get to know her better. If you can get over the fact that this guy absolutely ripped off It Follows beat for beat, this is a treat. And yeah, I rhymed that on purpose. I don't know why, it just felt like something I needed to do. I like this movie a lot. Guy I went with could not get over the fact that it was basically the same movie, but worse. It Follows is definitely better, uh, but it did the job, right? I was scared. I was on the hook the whole time. I was freaking out with this film, and that's what I look for in a horror movie. So there's my seal of approval. Go out, see Smile. If you already did, let me know in the comments what you thought. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel once more, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Follow me on Patreon, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies.
links are in the link tree below. See you later.